So we're going to discuss chipping grip and is there a difference between a chipping grip and a, a distance grip or a putting grip? Well, the best golfers in the world, whether they know it or not, some of the scientists do and some of the field players don't, but there are five elements to golf. There's power, short game, putting, they're the three physical elements. Then we've got your management and the mental side of golf. So if we've got the first three parts, which is power, short game and putting, they're not the same. So if you've ever really heard that it's the same grip for every shot in golf, well, that sounds fair and reasonable, but it's actually not. And it's not the reality on, on a lot of the tours around the world. You will see guys that have, you'll see some people putt like so, and they'll chip in the same fa fashion. So they'll actually have a, a, an old school reverse overlap putting grip, which a lot of players use, and they'll chip with that grip. And that's all fine and well. It's not what I do personally, but I certainly coach some people who like to chip that way and they're pretty good chippers. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that on them. The reality is this is a strong grip. The more your hands are both positioned on the right hand side of the grip, that's a strong grip that promotes a lot of forearm rotation, hand rotation, shuts the club. Very typical for people to draw the ball or hook the ball. Slices or a weak grip. And that's got nothing to do with tension. That's more about the position. Weak grip means rotating both hands a little more left on the, the grip. A neutral grip somewhere in between. Now for chipping, we don't want power. We don't lo want a lot of activity in the club head. We want the club head to remain fairly passive going through. It will still open and close a little. So what does that mean? Well, the way you position your hands on the grip will have the, the ultimate effect on that. So chipping grip, we definitely want to weaken it off a little. So if, if your grip's showing a couple of knuckles, we, let's say I can see three knuckles as I look straight down, that's a power grip. We're gonna weaken that off just a little bit. That means we're gonna see one less knuckle on that left hand. That's weaker, that's softer, it's more passive, and it will definitely help you to hit calm chips rather than having an active club face that's closing and rotating a little bit too much. So when you're chipping, I would certainly recommend a slightly weaker grip than a power, typical power grip. That's going to help you to calm your shots down, have them come out a little bit softer, roll out a little bit more gently rather than coming in hot and coming in fast, which if that's the case, well, you might have a reaction to that somehow and get a little stoppy on your shot if your grip's too strong. So I'd definitely recommend a weaker grip when it comes to chipping. We hope that helps your chipping. We hope that helps your distance control. And good luck with your chipping.